way. Yeah, he totally did. <laughs> yeah. Turned into a Goomba within like the first 30 minutes. I know, right? I was like, why don't we just review the Super Mario Brothers movie instead? <laughs> yeah, because... <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, we, we didn't see the Mario Brothers. Uh, well, we did. Uh, but like, not recently. We were, I don't yeah. know why, why did we. Why were we just talking about that? I don't know. Uh, I anyway, don't know. anyway, <laughs> the great opening. Uh, <laughs> we saw the Jungle Book. Yes, we did. <laughs> that was weird when when Mowgli went through the portal and you had to fight King Koopa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dennis Hopper turned into a T Rex. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> And John Leguizamo was an evil clown. Oh wait, that's another movie. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, we're we're getting we're getting ahead of All ourselves. All right, so, here. Hey, let's get back to it. Yeah, we saw the Jungle Book. We saw. Um, this was the first live action Disney movie from one of their animated movie adapted from one of their animated movies that I've seen. Mm -hmm. um, have you seen any of the other ones? I have not. There was Cinderella. There was Maleficent, which is getting a sequel, by the way. Really. Um, I don't really know what the point of this is, other than the fact that they can do it. Yeah, um, I guess it's an experiment to mess with CGI, because yeah. that's one thing I will give high marks for this movie, is that the CGI they used, it was really hard to tell what was real what, and what wasn't. Yeah, the animals were very realistic, and yeah. they weren't really creepy, and the, God, those, those wolf pups were adorable. Oh my God. I wanted one. I wanted to take one home. Yes. <laughs> My do my real dog would not appreciate that. No, no. <laughs> um, this movie was pretty good. It uh, it pretty much hit all the beats of the original. Um, the original movie, though, um, not one of my favorite Disney movies. Mm. Um, it was one that I liked a lot as a kid, but but didn't it, hold up. It was well. well, and not that it didn't hold up, but it was clearly geared more towards children. Yeah, um, it, it is unfortunately like the Robin Hood movie, which was also I, I think I, I like Robin Hood a little bit still, but right. um, when you watch it again, you can tell this was clearly for children. Mm -hmm. um, that's not to say it was bad. It was it was very good. Uh, I think I, I think what I'm getting at here is that the Chuck Jones Jungle Book is the best Jungle Book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The the, ver, the one from Chuck Jones, especially since he, um, a lot of people don't realize this, but the Jungle Book is not. Not that. It's not Mowgli. It's it's a collection of stories, and I think Mowgli is in, like, three of them. Yeah, so he's not, like, the main character. He's, yeah. like, one... He's it's a, the, the cub, I think it's called. Yeah, he's a stepping um, stone on yeah. this grand journey. So, yeah, adapta adaptations are hard. The Chuck Jones one was pretty spot on. Um, and he did adapt uh, other parts of the book as well, like Ricky Tikki Tavi. Tikki Tavi the Mongoose. Yeah, yeah. I, that's my that's my favorite Chuck Jones cartoon, actually. Wow, it's surprising considering it's not a comedy. Right, but it no. is it is fun. Um, <clears throat> but this movie was very good. Um, I was more uh, <clears throat> really it was the cast that made this work. It really was. Which uh, like share. Uh, Idris Elba as yes. Shere Khan was, oh. like, absolutely terrifying. He was scary. He was good and in that role. My God, when he when he would lunge out, yeah. it was like, oh, shit. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bill Murray as Baloo was great. Uh, uh, I, if you looked at his eyes, he actually looked like Bill Murray. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He probably... They kind of uh, took his I, facial features. I will say, this is a different Baloo from... The uh, the cartoon. Yeah. Um. I well, first of all, I've never read the original Jungle Book, so I don't know um, how accurate uh, any of the versions of the Jungle Book are. But mm -hmm. um, in the Chuck Jones one, he was kind of like dignified and a little little bit goofy, but kind of respectful. Yeah. In the Disney version, he was you know a lovable goofball. Yeah. And in Who this somehow one, somehow learned how to fly a plane, but that's a different series <laughs> that's, altogether. There's a theory behind that, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> and it was actually it's actually from uh, uh, Robot Chicken. Um, you've seen the Born Identity, right? Yes. You've seen the, the Born series. You know, uh, it's basically that he fucked up in the Tailspin world, so they wiped his memory and they dropped him and in they the jungle. dropped him in the jungle. That's why, yeah. <laughs> it was oh, like I, I was watching that sketch and I was like, this ma this makes more sense now. Wow. <laughs> But uh, anyway, Baloo in the mo in the movie, kind of a dick. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was I mean, basically using Mowgli for menial labor. <laughs> yeah, he was trying. Get me to, honey. Yeah, That's go, all I need you go for. Go get me honey. I, I need to eat for the winter. You don't want me to go to sleep 
and not wake up, did yeah, you? Exactly. That was what he said. <laughs> I mean, he he wasn't a he wasn't a bad character. He's yeah. just kind of greedy. At the, um, in the because beginning, yeah. When when he had to fight, he will whoop some ass. He does. He take he fights Shere Khan. Yeah, he this, does take on Shere Khan. He fights uh, King Louis' horde of monkeys as well. He and he fucks up Ka. Yeah. Oh God, we have to talk about Ka. Yeah. Um, Ka was voiced by Scarlett Johansson, <laughs> which weirded me out in so yeah. many ways. Yeah. <laughs> if you're only familiar with the Whoa. Disney movie, they basically gender flipped the character. Yeah, it's not just Ka was male in that version. Yeah, and it's not it's not that. It's just it was weird. It was. I, it was so weird. The effects, though, I think they handled well with the way they yeah. did the hypnotizing yeah. and everything else. And apparently, Ka knew Mowgli's backstory somehow. I don't know how, but uh, luckily, because in the Disney version, Ka shows up twice. Mm. But in this one, uh, it's only once. Thank God, because I didn't want to have to deal with that again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Baloo fucks her up, yep, I guess. Yeah, but good. Yeah, we never see her again. Nope. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, well, Ben Kingsley was Bagheera. Bagheera, yes. Yeah, he was really good. He did a really good job with that, too. Yeah, I, I almost uh, didn't realize that was him, either. Yeah. Um, the kid playing Mowgli was good, as well. Yeah. Like, he, he has a future in acting. Yeah, like, I thought maybe they were going to make him too cutesy or whatever, or, like, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's it's hit or miss with child actors. Yeah, but he, but he, he nailed it. He did his... He, he was very likable. Well. Yeah, and he... Uh, it was kind of weird that he knew, like, how to make stuff. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, the, Bagheera found him when he was a child, so how does he know what rope is and how to make tools and... Exactly. I don't know. I guess that's an instinct thing. Oh, that is and man, and man is nothing if not resourceful. True. That is true. Um, now we got to talk about the best part of this movie. Oh God! <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> they casted Christopher Walken as King Louis. Yes. Who, by the way, was both hilarious and terrifying at the same, at the same time. When he was chasing Mowgli, that was very because King Louis in this was a giant. Yeah, he, he was, was humongous. He was basically orangutan King Kong. Seriously. He was huge. And when he was chasing Mowgli, that was scary. Mm -hmm. But when he was singing, yeah. <laughs> I want to be just like you. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can find that online. Look it up. Can. It is Any problems I had with this movie up negated. to that point was completely, completely negated. And I didn't have that many problems with this movie. No. Other than the fact that why does it exist? But now, right. now it gave me Christopher Walken as King Louis. Yes. I'm like, all right, I'm I'm cool now. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Um, uh, I guess really the only other issue I had was uh, there were two songs in the movie because. You know, that was the, original. the music. The music felt out of place. It felt obligatory because they did uh, bare necessities and I want to be just like you. Yeah. And um, it did not. The, the movie doesn't come off as a musical. No, That's the it problem. was it's like they're trying to make it as serious as possible yeah. and to have the musical numbers in there. Yeah, and it, it, felt it was kind of weird. It was fun. It was adorable uh, hearing them sing uh, bare necessities. Yeah. Um, and of course, Christopher Walken will always be great, no matter what he does. Oh, um, yes, of course. But it just it just felt very oddly out of place. Yeah, but um, and it's what I really and, liked about those when he was infuriated, he would like switch on a dime from like enraged to like cordial with yeah. Mowgli again. Yeah, it's like, come on, kid, where else are you gonna go? Call me Louie. Call me Louie. I want you to bring me the red flower. <laughs> you can summon it and you can control it. Yeah. <laughs> the wheels of justice may move slowly, but they the move. Movement. Sorry, sorry, I, it's the wrong thing. This guy, this man cub is on fucking, fucking believable. believable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to my guy all wrong. It's the wrong tone. Do it again. I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the only good thing about Joe Dirt. Yeah, Mr. right, Joe exactly. Oh, uh, man. Um, I actually did uh, remember something. Um, the score of this movie was kind of weird too, because every every musical cue was just like a remixed version of Bare Necessities. Yeah, it was. And it, they were trying to like play out like these really dramatic moments. I'm like, you're you're playing Bare Necessities. Yeah. In, in this really sad tone, and I'm like, this isn't working. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's like, 
Yeah, this like Narmtastic. <laughs> no. No. It's just no. Um. Oh God. Um. But yeah, again, I I had very few complaints about this movie. But mm -hmm. again, is it's just the matter of why this exists. Yeah. What 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 is the purpose of do? I mean, if you contrast it with the cartoon, um, this one is definitely a little more edgy. Yeah. Because. Um, people get killed, or rather, yeah. characters get killed, because yes. they're animals. Mm -hmm. Um, Shere Khan straight up murders the, the head of the wolf pack. Yep. <laughs> he takes Grabs over. him by the throat with his teeth and just tosses yeah. him right off the cliff. And, um, the scene where he has, uh... He oh, has God, the, the wolf, yeah. The wolf cubs. The wolf pups, and, and he's he, telling him stories. Yeah, that was very... That was, especially that line where he just goes, I think, I think they, they like, like me. me. It's yeah. like, oh my God. I was, I was expecting the, that to have some kind of payoff. Like, he was gonna turn, turn him... Because yeah. Mowgli was inevitably gonna come back. He uh, was gonna have them have him fight his, you know, his, his brothers. Yeah, basically. like having him versus Gray. <laughs> yeah, or Gray would like defend him and get in the way. Yeah, Gray would not have turned on him. Gray was adorable. And, yeah, true. And cute. Gray was innocent. <laughs> yes, Gray did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, uh, spoilers by the way, but the movie ends differently than the cartoon. Because mm. um, in the in the end of the cartoon, he goes to the man, uh, the the village. Yeah. Because uh, he follows the girl because you know puberty. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yep. this one he stays in the jungle. Uh, I don't know if that is how the book ends or what. I mean, I'm assuming this version is way more uh, s uh, faithful to the original, but I I don't know. I've never read the Jungle Book. I just know. I think it's like, actually a lot yeah. worse in the book. I would imagine so. Because there um, are points where I, if I remember, because I was reading the cracked article at that they had the whole thing about the difference between the books and the movies, and they were saying how yeah. in the book like. One of the the ele you know that little elephant he was with yeah, it eventually grows big and like I think like its family gets killed and so like basically destroys the human village in, like really? a fit of murderous really vengeance. yes <laughs> the little elephant guy yeah huh I mean don't I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm rem remembering it right but I think something along those lines but huh. yeah yeah well yeah they're not fun and lighthearted the 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 thing you have to take away from Disney adaptations is that they're making it. They're making it their own. They're not faithful at no, all. No, they're not. Look up even some of the more seemingly innocent stories, like Cinderella of Notre Dame. Yeah, or yeah. Cinderella just, even yeah. stuff like that. Hell, Little Mermaid. Yeah. The the way <laughs> she gets her legs, it's she, the, the 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 witch basically takes an axe and chops her fin in half. <laughs> Hell, and that, the legs form from that. Not even that, but the end of the in the end of the story, she dies. Yeah. She turns to sea foam. Yeah, she turns to sea foam. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like, he get, she gets chopped with an axe, and, like, prince, the prince or whatever finds her and goes, Wow, what a funny creature. Dance for me. Like, forces her to dance while she's bleeding Holy all shit. over the sand. Wow. And she, yeah. Prince Eric is a dick. Yeah, Prince Eric was a <laughs> colossal douche in the book. Yeah, well, again, you gotta you gotta take the Disney stories with a grain of salt. Yeah, maybe that is why they're they're rebooting their stories because they they want to be they they want to make them a little more edgy because I guess yeah like uh, I've never seen this the Cinderella the adaptation although like I said the original Cinderella excuse me pretty pretty messed up you know you know you know what they do in Cinderella right no. Um, when the prince is going around trying to fit the shoe, uh -huh. everyone, the wicked stepsisters uh, basically cut pieces of their feet off oh, God. so they can fit into the shoe. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm not making that up. That's real. Holy shit. <laughs> they take, they, I think they cut their heels off just wow. so they can fit into the shoe, uh, which is really, really messed up. Yeah. <laughs> um... But yeah, it just it just seems like they want to make things more edgy and yeah, uh, not too edgy. They're trying to find a balance. I mean, yeah, I think they did find a pretty good balance with stuff like that because it was fun, it was lighthearted. But when when shit got serious, it got real. And even Mowgli got hurt quite a bit too. Like he, Shere Khan basically like sliced him across the chest with one of his claws. Yeah, he had he had claws. And there was on visible him. blood. He got so. um, he had scars on him already, and he got yeah, stung. When he got his face burned. He, he got stung by those bees. Oh yeah, <laughs> when he was trying to get the honey for Baloo. <laughs> that was the best. He was. He was like, I thought you said they don't sting. Ah, <laughs> oh, they were females. The females sting. The males don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Yeah, yeah rub some honey on it. It'll yeah. feel better. Yeah. <laughs> rub some tussin on it. Yeah, mo tussin. <laughs> Walk it off. Walk it off. Walk it off, pussy. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Blue was kind of a dick in this. He was. Um, I am kind of wondering what the new, the other adaptations that they uh, announced are going to be like. Yeah. I'm still saying I want him to do the Black Cauldron. Yes. I would love to if, see that. If anything anything Disney ever did deserved to be remade, yeah. Black Cauldron. Black Cauldron. Yeah. And they got to do it right this time. Yeah. Um, but now we got uh, Peach Dragon, which is coming out soon, which I'm actually kind of interested in. Mm. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the original. And did you say they were um, doing Sword in the Stone? Yes, Sword yeah. in the Stone, which is one of my favorite Disney movies. So, that, and, and that... that could work very well in live action. True. It's not, it's it's got like magic and stuff in it, but it's not too far fetched. You know, it's, it's a fantasy story. Yeah. Um, the one that that is probably going to be a glorious train wreck though is Dumbo. Is yeah. Oh God. <laughs> they're making a live action version of Dumbo yeah. directed. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> directed by oh shit I can't even say it. Directed by Tim Burton. Oh, Chris Tim Burton. So, if you thought Pink Elephants on Parade was fucked up in the original, oh. wait until he gets a hold of it and puts oh. it in realistic CGI. Ooh. Uh, he's going to have Frankenstein tropes in it. You know, he's, Dumbo's going to find himself at a burning windmill or something. Something. Uh, oh, yeah, he did the, the Alice in Wonderland, too. Yes, so I guess he that, did. that was another Disney. He's going to shoehorn Johnny Depp and Helena Bonnet Carter in there somewhere. Johnny Depp, I, I'm calling it right now, Johnny Depp is going to be the mouse. He's going to be the mouse. The talking mouse. Or uh, he might be someone from the circus. Or if we're going to go really far-fetched, he might be one of the crows. You know what? Uh, that's where I was going. <laughs> no, he's going to be all the crows. <laughs> oh, all God! <laughs> He's going to act opposite himself in multiple <laughs> scenes. It's going to be a flock of Johnny Depp. Copy paste. <laughs> Copy paste is a designer's best friend. Oh my god, that, that's, that'd be a nightmare. Oh it my would. god. <laughs> that's what Tim Burton dreams there's about too, at night. He wakes up screaming. too many Johnny Depps on yeah. screen. He's just like, oh, Depp! He just wakes and up in the middle all, of the night. They're all going to have the personalities of each of his characters. Yes, bro. One's going to be Jack Sparrow. Yeah, one's going to be Jack Sparrow. One's, one's going to be Willy Wonka. Uh, one's gonna be Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. One's gonna be the the guy uh, Raw Duke from from yeah, Fear and Loathing. <laughs> you guys are fucking animals. <laughs> Come on, sing with us. No, fuck that. I'm getting out of here. This is too weird for me. <laughs> Tell Edward to stop being so mopey. <laughs> exactly. Where's the rum? I can't sing without rum. Where's the rum gone? <laughs> My father didn't wake up. You know what? We shouldn't give them ideas. <laughs> I know. Right. So, oh, my God. Anyway, yeah. the Jungle Book. It, it was decent. It was serviceable. Um, Maybe it, not necessary, but decent nonetheless. Yeah, it, they, they did a good job with it. It's, yeah. good, it's a good movie for kids. Um, I, if you can't watch it, then you might as well just watch the original or True. watch the Chuck Jones version. Still, still best version. Or read the book. It, yeah. Read a book. If you really want to depress the shit out of yourself. <laughs> Read a book. Whatever. Read a book. All right, well, that's Jungle Book, I guess. Um, yep. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll sit here and wait for Tim Burton's Dumbo, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know when that's coming out, but whatever. Yeah. They can put that off. Yeah. They can postpone it indefinitely. In, in development hell forever. Development hell. Go sit next to Akira. Yes. <laughs> Travis. Never, never come out. Yes, never come out. Uh, it's bad enough we're getting Ghost in the Shell, but that's a whole uh, other thing. No, let's not get it. We'll, get, just, we'll talk about that when we inevitably watch that movie. Yeah. So, so yeah, we're going to end it here. Yeah, goodbye. Later. Christopher Walking singing. Thumbs up. Yes, it, it was it's, amazing. It was, it was great. You got to watch it. We got to end the video now. It's, yeah. it's gone on too long. You know, there's there's not really any further. There's nowhere else to go from here. Right? What are you doing here? Go away. The movie's would you, over. Would you like some champagne? <laughs> All right, that's enough. <laughs>